good morning students today we are going to take up another topic however you are familiar with that topic and that is climate of india and in this climate of india we are going to focus on all the factors which are affecting the climate of india now broadly speaking india is having a tropical monsoon type of climate however because of its large latitudinal variation and several physiographic barriers there are a lot of variations in the climate of india so as far as the latitude of the country is concerned india extends from 8 degree north to 37 degree north latitude the tropic of cancer passes through the middle of the country while the southern part lies in the tropical region the northern part lies in the subtropical zone as such the temperature remains quite high during the summer season all over the country except for the high altitudes in the northern parts but during the winter temperatures fall considerably in the northern plains and several areas have recorded freezing point in many parts of the northern areas of the northern plains and also parts of the himalayan belt however it is low and moderate in the rest of the country thus india by and large enjoys a hot tropical climate the himalayas are also responsible for the tropical climate of india this high extensive mountain system protects india from the cold winds of the north at the same time the himalayas obstruct the southwesterly monsoons thereby causing very heavy rainfall in the northern plains while the other side of the himalayas remain a rain shadow area the lofty mountains do not allow the rain bearing winds to cross over and as a result the tibetan plateau and other parts of central asia remain very dry while the southern part remains very wet due to the southwest monsoons not being allowed to cross over the lofty mountains elsewhere we find that the distance from the sea also plays a very important role in determining the climate of india the peninsular character of southern india has its climatic influence with a long coastline starting from gujarat all these areas enjoy an equable climate or they have a moderating influence of the sea however large areas in the northern part 
of the country lies far away from the sea and they have a continental type of climate continental type of climate refers to those areas which are very far away from the influence of the seas like delhi agra jaipur jaisalmer where the winters are very severe with very low temperatures while the summers are very hot with very high temperatures on the contrary places which are located close to the sea like chennai mangalore over here belgaum mumbai kolkata they all enjoy a moderating influence of the sea with neither very hot summers nor very cold winters now the relief of the land or altitude also plays a very important role in determining the climate of india a higher altitude is responsible for a cooler climate or and a lower temperature a uh, the peninsula part of india has got a lower climate as they are as the places are situated at a higher altitude places like ooty or uttakamand though very close to the equator has a very cool climate as it is situated at a higher altitude however the temperatures in the himalayan regions are lower both because of very high altitude and the distance from the sea sorry distance from the equator is also far away that is why the hill stations are numerous in the himalayas pressure and temperature conditions in our neighboring countries also have its impacts on the monsoon and also occasionally dry spells occur for example if there is a cyclonic storm in east africa this cyclonic storm can also affect the western part of india very high temperatures in iran may affect the plains of india because the winds which are blowing from all these areas they are felt far off in places like lucknow and patna in the form of the dry desiccating wind called loo and it has its effect on all these areas during the summer similarly when central and the tibetan plateau when there is a huge amount of snowfall temperatures drop and that also affects the southern part of the himalayas so different conditions of pressure or temperature changes in the neighboring countries have a strong impact on the climate of india
Now jet streams. Now these also are important because they also play a very important role in determining the climate of India. Now jet streams were discovered during the Second World War when aeroplanes flying from the west to the east moved faster because they were flying at a very high altitude. But when they were flying from east to west, the same aeroplanes had to use more fuel and could not move as fast. It was then discovered how these jet streams or very strong winds were present or they were existing at the higher altitude. So these are narrow bands of strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. The winds blow from west to east, but the flow often shifts from north to south. The jet streams are found where large temperature differences exist. Jet streams play a very important role in determining the weather conditions. They generally push air masses around, moving weather systems to new areas and even causing them to stall if they have moved very far away. Jet streams are also famous for being responsible in carrying depressions from the Mediterranean regions and dropping them in the Gangetic belt during the winters. So they play a very important role in determining the climate of India. Here we can see that an easterly jet stream gets formed by the end of June over the Indian peninsula. And it has also been found that this jet stream is very strong when the monsoon is very active. Now, when this jet stream shifts further towards the north latitude, the monsoon becomes weak. So, jet streams earlier, which was unknown to us, now, since we know about it, we are able to understand why sometimes the monsoon becomes strong or sometimes it becomes weak. Now, varied relief also plays a very important role in determining the climate of India. Now, here we can see the western ghats, which rise abruptly like a wall from the western coastal plain. And the moist southwesterly monsoons give heavy rainfall to the coastal areas of the western part of the western Ghats. But the same winds do not give that much of rainfall to the lee side or the rain shadow area which lies on the eastern part of the western ghats. So these areas become very dry and compared to the western part of the western ghats. So while Mumbai gets about 190 centimeters of rainfall, Pune, which is just on the I, another side, that is the eastern side of the western ghats, gets, gets only 50 centimeters of rainfall. However, due to the heavy rainfall in the western part of the western ghats, 
these areas are a region of a lot of biodiversity this area along with the northeastern part of india are known as the hot spots region of the world because of the immense biodiversity which they showcase i leave you with a few pictures of the biodiversity which is found in the western ghats which makes it one of the most varied regions having a lot of biodiversity in terms of plants birds butterflies tigers a lot of waterfalls and several rare species of plants reptiles monkeys etc so that is what we have enough time for today thank you